Good morning students. Today we are going to see chapter 3 scoping. Scoping is nothing but it's a programming language tool to limit the visibility of definitions. Here scoping it refers to a program you can see or you can use it. In each every part of your program you can access that variable and also you have to practice a limit a variable scope to a single definition here this way you can changes inside the function but it can't affect the variable on the outside of the function in unexpected ways The scope of a variable which is the part of the code where it is visible. Today we will discuss variable scope. In this session we will learn different types of variable scope that is local scope, global scope, enclosed scope, built-in scope. Types of variable scope. There are four types of variable scope. Let me discuss them one by one. First one is local scope. Here, a variable which is defined inside the class or a function. That means a variables which is defined in the current function. Next one is global scope. Here global scope, a variable which is defined at the uppermost level. That means a variable which is declared outside of all the functions in a program. And third one is enclosed scope. Here enclosed scope, a variable which is defined inside enclosing functions. That means nested function concept a function within another function here a variable which is declared inside a function which contains another function definition and final one is a built-in scope built-in scope is nothing but it reserved names in the built-in functions that is a variables which is already reserved that means which is already stored in a function in a library modules here it has preloaded into the program scope so when we store the compiler or interpreter it will run automatically Local scope. Local scope is a characteristic of variables that makes them local. That is, the variable name is only bound to its value within a scope, which is not the global scope. If variable is created inside a function, it belongs to the local scope of that function and can only used inside that function which means a local scope it refers to the variables that is defined in the current function a function will first look up for a variable variable name in its local scope local scope it refers to a variables which is defined in current function that means always a function will first look up for a variable name in its local scope look at this example disp 
function definition e equal to 7 which is the variable name which is declared inside the function look at this example disp function definition e is equal to 7 that is the variable name which is defined inside the function so it is a local scope next one is print e just display the value of e now we are going to access the variable scope which is defined in the inside the function so it is a local scope disp that is a function will be closed that is written the function let me see this diagram disp a is equal to 7 print a here these are the things which we were discussed about inside the function so here the outside of the function that is outer of the function is disclosed so when we when we are closing this function here it written as disp and next one is when we are accessing this program here the output is 7 because we are accessing the variable inside the scope it has a certain ranges if you are accessing the particular variable which is defined in the local scope we are getting this output 7 in this code the variable a which displays the value 7 because it's defined and it's available in its local scope so here the output is 7 global scope here a variable which is created in the main body of the code is a global variable and it belongs to global scope global variables are available from within any scope global scope is visible and it can be accessible both inside and outside of all the functions in the program global scope a variable which is declared outside of all the functions in a program is known as global variable let us see this example a is equal to 10 which means here the variable which is defined outside the function so it is the global variable this here the function definition a is equal to 7 inside the function when we are declaring a variable which is a local variable print a just we are going to display the local variable a this that is the function will be closed print a here this print a will display the value of global variable look at this diagram a is equal to 10 which is defined outside the function so it's a global variable and next one is disp that is the function definition a is equal to 7 which is the local scope because here the variable which is defined inside the function print a just display the value of a which is defined inside the function here these are the things which contains the local scope variable out of this scope the function will be closed so here the statement is disp and next one is after the after returning statement print a here this print a which displays the value of the global variable in this code we are executed the variable a which is defined inside the function it displays the value 7 for the function called disp and 
then it displays 10 because a is defined in the global scope so the variable which is defined in that current scope that is the local variable is displays first after displays the local variable then only it displays the global variable value Enclosed scope, enclosed scope that is non-local scope is a special scope that only exists for nested functions. If the local scope is an inner or nested function, then the enclosed scope is the scope of the outer or enclosed function. Here this scope it contains all of the names that you define at the top level of a program or a class or a module all programming languages permit functions to be nested a function that is a method which contains another function is called nested function a variable which is declared inside a function which contains another function definition within it that means the inner function can also access the variable of the outer function this scope is called enclosed scope when a compiler or an interpreter searches for a variable in a program it first search local variable and then search for enclosing scopes look at this example disp function definition is equal to 10 the variable which is defined inside the function so it is a local scope disp on it's a enclosing function because already we have defined this function so here this on is the enclosing function that means the function inside another function print e just we are going to display the value of e this on the function will be closed print e so here also we display the value of a disp so the function will be closed just see the diagram first one is disp a is equal to 10 so in this disp 1 print a which is the local scope so here the first value which will display under this local scope so here the first 10 which the displays the value valuable of the local scope look at this diagram disp here it is the function definition a is equal to 10 that is the variable which is defined inside the function so it's known as the local scope disp1 which is a function which is defined under the function of disp so disp1 is the nested function and also it known as the enclosing function under this function we are going to print some value it in this value we are going to print this variable as a enclosed variable next one is this one the function will be closed print a here this print a which we are going to display the value of local variable disp here the function of disp will end let us see this output 10 10 here the first 10 which displays the output as local scope variable and next 10 which displays the output as the enclosed variable Building scope. The building scope has all the names that are preloaded into the program scope when we start the compiler or interpreter. Any variable or module 
which is defined in the library functions of a programming language has built in or module scope that means they are loaded as soon as the library files are imported into the program let us see this example we never need to import any module to access functions like print of and id of normally these functions come along with the software as packages therefore they will come under the build in scope let us see the example here this entire program this disp on off print a disp on off print a disp here all this contains the build in module that is this files are associated with the software uh, because this files are going to make the library files just we are going to import the modules we can access this functions here this functions are come along with the software as packages so just we are going to import the module because of this it will come under build in scope a quick review on book types of variable scope there are four types of variable scope let me discuss them one by one first one is local scope here a variable which is defined in a current function here this variable is known as a local variable that is local scope let us see this example this here it is a function definition a is equal to 7 the variable which is defined inside the function which is known as a local variable so here a is 7 is the local variable print a just display the value of a this the function will be closed look at this diagram this a is equal to 7 print a these are the things contains inside the function that is a local scope out of the scope the function will be written that is disp let us try this program here we get the output is 7 global scope a variable which is declared of all the functions in a program is known as a global variable which means is the global variable which can be accessed both inside or outside of all the functions in a program a variable which is declared outside the function by default it considered as a global variable let us see this example a is equal to 10 so here which is the global variable this here it is the function start that is the function definition a is equal to 7 so under this function definition we are going to declare a variable that means a local scope print a here this print a just display the value of local scope this the function will be closed that is return print a here this print a will display the value of global scope look at this diagram this a is equal to 7 print a here this all the things which contains the local scope a is equal to 10 this one print a this all the things which contains the global scope here the output of this program is 7 so first we are going to execute the variable that is a uh, local variable so here we are so we are going to get the value as 7 after this execution after this execution of the local scope we are going to execute the global scope variable so here the output is 10 in close the scope here a variable which is declared inside a function and also which contains the another function definition a variable which is declared inside a function which contains the another function definition it's called the enclosed scope here we can access the inner function as well as the outer function 
when a compiler or interpreter search for a variable in a program here first it will search for a local variable and then it search for a enclosed variable let us see this example disp a is equal to 10 here this the function definition a is equal to 10 here it is the local variable disp1 here uh, here this disp1 is the enclosing function under this enclosing function print a it is a enclosed variable disp1 the function will be closed that is the function will be written print a just we are going to display the local variable value disp the function will be closed disp a equal to 10 that is the local function look at this diagram a disp uh, that is a function definition a is equal to 10 under the function definition the variable declared so it is the local scope variable and next one is this one which is the nested function print a just we are going to display the value of a this one the function will be closed print a just we are going to display the value of local scope this that is the function will be closed outer let us see the output of this program 10 10 here the first 10 it represent the local scope variable and second 10 it represent the enclosing scope variable and also here we can see here the inner function can be access the outer function here the inner function value can be access the outer function here the inner function can also access the variable of the outer function the final one is built-in scope here the built-in scope is nothing but here the names that are preloaded into the program scope when we store the compiler or interpreter whatever may be here this variable or a module which is defined in the library functions of a programming language that means already built-in for example we never need to import any module to access this function so, just it uh, just it's uh, loaded in a packages uh, just this functions or modules come along with the software as packages let us see this example here this entry program so uh, named here this entry program so named in a module uh, build in or module scope just we are going to display this module we can get the output uh, so here disp disp1 print a disp1 print a disp here all these things which are going to be input under this module build in or a module scope just we are going to display any module just we are going to input any module and these functions can be accessed i hope you are all understand different types of variable scope let me discuss the next class what is module and what are the characteristics thank you students